Kenya. My body often feels heavy with the full weight of not just my years, but my decisions. And every inch of the places I've been, it's straight from the giver. All these flashes of memories, except they are mine, and I'm the one who had the audacity to forget them. Beauty ricochets off the insides of my memories. It's always me standing on the edge of some new cliff, wondering which inner, oh, wondering with inner mouth wide open, like flowers bursting into windows floating in the sky, each a channel to one day somewhere, and yet too fuzzy to truly recall. As if I'm not recalling them at all, but doing something new, or at least trying to. Some types of love that are now more foreign because I am London, and yet know nothing of Europe, and all my things are still in Texas, except it's none of those things. It's just me in an open field, finally finding a space to feel safe enough to walk miles in a particular direction with no worries about whether someone new will cross my path before I finish the journey, so let me begin my to-do list. 42,390 dreams, 367 bottles of sand from different beaches, 34 free things that I wasn't expecting, 45,987 feelings of being connected to a larger dream, 239 journals about public parks of the world, 700,345 hugs from family, 45,679 starry nights, 42 bottles of water near lakes whose names I've not yearned, learned yet, 5,000 nights in Nigeria. I am a producer and director, I'm the editor and the actor, I'm the casting agent and the writer's room, and yet I think I give it all so little thought, this responsibility, this grand stewardship of the universe from the perspective of these two hands, the romance and the patience of a single life. 59,721 thoughts of gratitude, and yet however many more are needed. Isn't that the thing about numbers? They can only ever be guesses at addresses and lists too. What keen company, friends forced and lined up, quotes and boatloads of time, and that's exactly what we really wanted. What I wanted when I decided to think instead of sleep, when I decided I had things to do decades before they'd even thought to give chase. Love is the only grass blade on the open field of our enchantment, true love. That which is most easily sworn off, only to become the single defining moment of every breeze, every brick, every stone now beautiful. Aesthetic and metaphor like a photographer within the gallery of our eye reporting on those those framed sunsets. What witty love, what future and ancient, like the first words we ever spoke, forming gifts of love from time, deciding to be truly here, and to figure out how to make the dreams fit too. I suppose that's what we were all doing.